So going back to the astronomies that we have, again, there are huge challenges. It's not just all these cosmological ideas of the multiverse, even quite basic things. We may not be able to, take, to detect the first stars or the first galaxies yet. That's going to have to wait, as I say, till at least the James Webb Space Telescope is launched, hopefully in 2018. Even the very distant versions of galaxies we see in the early universe, we've got to work out how they grow and they develop into today's galaxies. And a large part of this, as I have alluded to in the past, is the fact that they all seem to have a supermassive black hole at their core. Now, there are huge problems in this. You can grow a big supermassive black hole by accreting matter from stars, from galaxy collisions. We understand how you can grow these objects, but we see them when the universe was really young. How do you grow that much mass in time? Which comes first, the black hole or the galaxy around it? There is a key relationship between the two, that if you look at any massive galaxy, the size or the mass of the black hole at its core is related to the mass of that galaxy. Here's just a plot of the mass of the host galaxy over the mass of the black hole at the core. And you find that even the black hole at the centre could be 10,000 solar masses, it could be 10 billion times the mass of our sun. But it always tracks the mass of the galaxy. It's always about 0.3% of the mass of the galaxy around it. This suggests that galaxies and the black holes at their core grow in tandem, that one knows about the other, one affects the other. And we're still struggling to work out this feedback mechanism. Again, artist's impression. If we could get pictures this good, it would be easy. But again, looking at the processes around the black hole, looking at fueling mechanisms, looking at how the energy from the black hole affects the galaxy around us, helps us see how black holes might regulate galaxy growth and also the galaxy and the matter around it and how hot it is might regulate the growth of the black hole. But this is, again, is one of the more tangible problems that astronomers are working on right now.